NFTs have caused a lot of debate of late, and one of the most famous collections out there is that of the Bored Ape Yacht Club. However, with the crypto winter we are currently experiencing, NFT sales have slowed to a crawl, but that's not the only problem facing the industry with recent claims of racism. Today, we're discussing artist Ryder Rips's claims that the Bored Ape Yacht Club is racist. Stay with us. First up, who exactly is Ryder Rips? Those of you who have never heard of Rips could maybe be forgiven, as he's not exactly mainstream. The son of artist Rodney Rips, Ryder is a conceptual artist, programmer, and creative director working with the likes of Kanye West throughout his career so far. As a child, Rips studied HTML and JavaScript and graduated from college with a degree in media studies. He is the creative director of a digital marketing and design agency, OK Focus, and has also worked alongside musicians and big brands like Red Bull and Nike. With his background in HTML and JavaScript, Rips has created numerous websites and has also been involved in branding. Proving there is more than just one string to his bow, he has also co-produced songs for Miley Cyrus, whilst also working with West. He has directed music videos and designed artwork for the likes of James Blake and Travis Scott, whilst at the same time being fired as creative director for Swedish singer Zara Larsson, after body shaming her in messages to Azalea Banks. Proving that he's not the social justice warrior he likes to think he is. He has also been involved in several, some might say pretentious, artworks. With his work being described as art that uses online avenues to expose how social media can amplify narcissism and fear. Okay then, what is Rips's best work in your opinion? Let us know below. Next, we're discussing his claims of racism. Stay tuned. Responding to claims of copyright infringement, Ryder Rips, a white Jewish man, has sensationally claimed that Yuga Labs, creators of the insanely popular board AP Yacht Club NFTs have used Nazi images in their artwork. Yuga Labs accused Rips of infringing upon their brand, trademark, and intellectual property after he created another set of NFTs, which he called the Ryder Rips Board Ape Yacht Club, RR slash BAYC. Rips has set up a website claiming that Yuga Labs founders use dehumanizing imagery in their work, saying that the art uses traits that indicate that they are intended to represent black people and Asian people, equating them to monkeys. Of course, the old old classic of claiming racism to cover up your own misdeeds has seen Rips claim the company have been intentionally embedding Nazi dog whistles throughout their project. I mean, come on. Rips claims the BAYC logo is similar to the Nazi Totenkampf emblem, so not the same, just similar. He has pointed out the similarities in the two emblems, and although they are vaguely similar, there's nothing in BAYC imagery that suggests racism directly. And Rips has also suggested the group are anti-Semitic with one of the leaders, Gargamel, being accused of taking his name from a Jew-hating smurf. He also claims another member, Sass, took his Twitter handle from an amalgamation of the Nazi party's paramilitary security forces, the SA and the SS. What do you guys make of this? So, is there any truth in this? Let's see. Well, some of Rips's peers appear to agree with what he is saying, with Sweaborg co-founder admitting that there is some twisted stuff in this story and very unusual coincidences. Before before claiming he wasn't going to accuse anyone yet. Another industry player, Corey Kilpston of Swan Bitcoin, said, I'd put it at 99.99%. The project is in fact a deliberate troll, intentionally replete with Nazi symbols and esoteric racist dog whistles. Yuga Labs have suggested that Rips is using his online reputation to orchestrate a campaign of harassment based on false accusations of racism. They have also suggested that he is just using the Fuhrer to sell his fake versions of the BAYC NFTs. Rips has been accused of ill-gotten gains after netting a reported 1.8 million through copycat NFTs. They are looking for the same amount in damages while also looking for an injunction against Rips to ensure he cannot use any of their images or trademarks again. Rips claims Yuga Labs are attempting to silence him, but it sounds as though they simply want him to stop using their art. However, he claims that people who bought the RR slash BAYC understood it was supposed to be a protest against and a parody of BAYC. AYC, not a replacement, which sounds exactly like what someone who had been accused of plagiarism would say to cover their tracks. What do you guys make of this? What else has Yuga said in response? Stay tuned to find out. Rips has been described as a demented troll by the Yuga Labs founders, suggesting that his campaign against them is simply crazy disinformation. They have responded to his claims with a lawsuit filed in California, which suggests Rips is scamming his customers with fraudulent NFTs. Rips's website does state that you understand that it is a 
new mint of BAYC imagery, recontextualizing it for educational purposes as a protest and satirical commentary. But the lawsuit counters this, claiming that his project is a deliberate effort to harm Yuga Labs at the expense of consumers. The lawsuit also suggests that copying is not satire, it is theft. And lying to consumers is not conceptual art, it is deception, which is pretty difficult to disagree with. They went on to tell fans that they will continue to fight this slander, whilst also stopping any attempts to bring harm to us and the BAYC community. It is thought Yuga Labs have a decent chance of winning the case, and it's been suggested that this could be an important, even groundbreaking case surrounding copyright and ownership in a relatively new industry. Whatever happens, it seems as though neither party is going to back down, but it does seem as though it is clear as day that Rips has copied Yuga Labs' work. What do you guys make of all this? So, what does the law say? Let's discuss. Well, given the fact that NFTs are still relatively new in the eyes of the law, there's not much in the way of previous examples. However, there have been a couple of cases so far. In 2021, an NFT artist by the name of Schlomes created a piece of work in which he gathered the logos of Fortune 100 companies and registered them as a trademark sign. He said that, in the event that this NFT does become the first to be the subject of a cease and desist letter from a major corporation, it will only skyrocket in both historical importance and value. And there have been a couple of other similar cases. However, the problem is that there isn't really any legal standard right now when it comes to NFTs, so it's all a bit of a gray area. A project called NFT Theft, which lured buyers to purchase works by famous artists, which turned out to be fake, claimed that their whole shtick was simply a publicity stunt, a project questioning authorship and ownership. Others would simply say it was stealing, and this kind of echoes the Rips case. When explaining how he saw it, Rips said on his website, the current terms of ownership set forth by Yuga Labs to BAYC token holders are unclear and do not meet current copyright standards. Clearly defining what we are buying when we purchase an NFT is one of the primary goals of this work. What do you make of all of this? And finally, Johnny Depp has donated proceeds from his NFT sale to charity. In one of the more bizarre developments this week, it has been revealed that Hollywood superstar Johnny Depp has donated the proceeds from an NFT sale to a range of charities, one of which is heavily associated with his ex-wife Ember Heard. Earlier this week, Depp's Never Fear Truth NFT sold for $800,000, with $200,000 going to four different charities, the names of which were revealed in a tweet. Perth Children's Hospital Foundation via CAF America, Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity via CAF America, the Footprint Coalition, and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. The latter has links to Heard after she promised to donate the proceeds of her divorce to Depp to them. However, she failed to do so. Some top-level trolling by Mr. Depp, who has surely only done this to make his ex look bad. However, the charity won't care why the money has been donated at the end of the day. Fans were quick to praise Depp, pointing out that this is what philanthropy actually looks like. Heard had tried to justify her lack of donations during the trial, saying, I pledged the entirety to charity. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay for the entire house at one time. You pay for it over time, which did nothing for her public image. What do you guys make of Depp's donation? As usual, thanks for dropping in today, and remember to tune in again next time for some more fun reveals. And why not do us a solid by liking and sharing today's video with any NFT enthusiasts you might know of, while also subscribing to our channel. Bye guys!